You know, there's an old math puzzle whose answer has always seemed to kind of perplex me. The idea is simple. Three friends go out for a dinner. The total of the bill comes up to $30. Since there are three of them, they decide to split the bill evenly, and they each pay $10 apiece. The waitress takes the money and walks away, and then she realizes that she accidentally overcharged them. The total bill should have only been $25. So she comes back with five $1 bills in change. The guys each take $1 back, and they leave the other $2 for her as a tip. So let's think about it for a second. Each person originally spent $10, but since he got $1 back, they've effectively now spent $9. Since there are three of them, we can take nine times three and get 27. If we add to that the $2 tip, we get 29. So the question is, what happened to the other dollar? Well, I've always figured if I could actually get the money in front of me and work this scenario out with real objects, I could figure out what happens to the missing dollar. Let's see how it works right now. Okay, I have exactly $30. That's one, two, three, four, five singles, plus another one, two, three, four, five more gives me 10 ones, plus two fives makes 20, and $10 makes 30. Let's just double check. That's 10, 20, 25, and 30. We're ready to begin. So the guys give the money to the waitress. She comes back and gives them their change. One, two, three, four, five dollars. They decide to keep three dollars, one for each person, and they give the other two dollars to her as a tip. Now, they've each paid nine dollars. Nine times three is twenty-seven. That's ten, fifteen, and twenty, plus one, two, three, four, five, makes twenty-five, plus two more makes twenty-seven. If we add to that the two dollar tip, we get twenty-nine. Where does the other dollar go? So, what happens to the missing dollar? Well, it turns out that there is no missing dollar. The whole thing is one big scam. It's worded in a very specific way that's designed to screw with your head and throw the math off balance. Let's review. At the beginning of the puzzle, each man spends $10. They each get $1 back, so by the end of the puzzle, they've only spent $9 a piece. And $9 times the three men, in fact, does equal $27. But here's where the scam comes in. You see, my next statement is that $27 plus the $2 tip makes only $29. But you see, that's worded incorrectly. Because the $2 tip is included in the $27 that the guys spent. So a better question would be $27 minus the $2 tip equals $25 which, if you remember, is the cost of the meal in the first place. Another way to think about this problem is to think about where the money ends up at the end of the puzzle. Well, the meal cost $25. The server got a $2 tip to make $27, and each man got a dollar back. That makes $30. So as you can see, all the money is completely accounted for. There is no missing dollar. It's all one big scam. But hey, it's a fun scam and something you should share with your friends. Now, as far as the magic trick goes, where I make the real dollar bill vanish, well, that was just for fun. I'm not going to teach you how to do that here because it requires some advanced sleight of hand that's beyond the scope of this website. But if you want to learn some amazing math magic tricks, be sure to check out AmazingMathGuy.com. There's a link at the top that says Math Magic Videos, where you can learn tons of cool things to freak out your friends. So I hope you'll visit soon and visit often. Check out AmazingMathGuy.com.